Hey guys, and welcome back to Art of Navates. In this video, I wanted to do a quicker tutorial on setting up the field box to do phase and amplitude checks, as well as return loss checks. Uh, we're gonna stick to just the vector voltmeter mode. It's the fastest mode uh, for as far as setup time is concerned. If you're interested in knowing more about the field box, I encourage you to check out my other video. It's about 30 minutes long, and I'll post a link to it in the comments below. So with that, let's get started. Okay, by default, most field foxes come up in the network analyzer mode. Of course, you could change that in the system configurations. But we're going to hit the mode key, and we're going to hit vector voltmeter. And the first thing we want to change is the frequency. We hit the frequency key. And for this example, we're going to use 110 decimal 1 megahertz uh, standard localizer frequency, or one of them. Okay, so we first need to know what it is that we're trying to measure. Uh, is it an antenna or is it cables? Uh, so that's going to dictate whether or not we use a through type measurement or a reflective type measurement. By default, it comes up with port 1, so it's a reflective measurement. Let's go ahead and change that. For this example, I'm going to select uh, measure, number 1 key, and then 2 port transmission. This is going to be for looking at, uh, this is going to be for looking through things where you're trying to see the insertion loss of an attenuator uh, in this case, and, and more often than not, I'm trying to see the electrical length of a cable, so I'm going to be paying more attention to the degrees versus the amplitude. So just to recap, I've selected my frequency, and I selected the type of measurement I want to make. Now I'm ready for calibration. So we're going to hit the Cal key, and then Mechanical Cal, and I have my calibration T right here, and this is a 1250-3605. Uh, it's saying right now, or suggesting that I use a 3607. So I can change this. All this is is a matter of male or female. That's the difference between the part numbers here of the calibration T. Uh, so that would be change dot connector. I'm going to scroll up to type in. We're going to change the gender to a female like I have here. And say next for port 2. And the same thing, I'll just scroll up to type in. Change gender brings up that the female version and then it's going to now suggest the correct part number for this calibration T it's the 3605 uh, there and that's what it's suggesting here so we're going to select that for both ports and now you see here 1250 3605 1250-3605 now we're ready to start calibration first step is to connect the open to port 1 and notice I've got my test cable connected to port 1 already so we're going to include that in the calibration I just hit measure and just follow the steps. Okay, now it says connect the open to port 2. I'm going to take a moment to connect another test cable to port 2. This will just be, this will just make it easier to connect up the calibration T and to connect up to whatever device under test I want to. And the last one is putting port 1 and port 2 together. I'm going to do that with an N-type bullet. Now you can finish. That completes the calibration. Now we're going to connect port 1 to port 2 so that we can take a zero reference. You can see the numbers are jumping all around because there's not a complete path between port 1 to port 2. It's basically port 1 is in an open. Okay, now we've completed the RF path or the transmission path. Okay, we're just going to hit number 4 for measure setup and we're going to select under the zero function, the soft key. Right now it says off. I'm just going to turn it on, and that gives us a zero amplitude, zero degree phase. Now we can connect to whatever device under test that we want to look through. So for this example of a through type measurement, I've got a test cable here on the table that we're going to connect port 1 to one side of, and port 2 to the other. 
And the field fox is telling us that this little bit of test cable, it's about eight feet long, has a loss of 0.4 dB, and we call that an insertion loss. And the amp or the correction of the phase is a negative 164.9 degrees. Okay, for this next check, we're going to do a reflective type measurement. I'm gonna hit the number one key, and we're gonna do the port one. It says cable trimming, but you can do a lot more than just trimming cables with this function here. And it does say up here, electrical length, port one. Um, we are looking though at amplitude in this scenario because I'm going to, for this instance, measure a dummy load. This could also be similar to measuring an antenna. We wanna see how well this uh, device under test is absorbing the RF energy or uh, conversely, reflecting some of it, which would be not ideal. So I got port one in my hand. Before we connect the device under test, I just want to do a real quick zero. So we're going to turn under the uh, measure setup number four, the zero function. We're going to turn it on. That gives us zero amplitude, zero phase. Now we can connect the device under test. And this is a good looking dummy load. Really would like to see negative 21 or better and negative 38.5 dB is definitely better not concerned with the phase here. This would be similar to measuring an antenna on like a localizer or a glide slope. You do wanna keep in mind though that you're using a dummy load on the monitor output port because our antennas have two ports, an input and an output. So if you're looking at Visoir on an antenna, an ILS antenna, uh, you do wanna have a good dummy load on the monitor output port to get an accurate VSWR or return loss measurement. Okay, so that's it for the quick setup of the Field Fox's vector voltmeter mode. Again, I showed you how to do reflective measurements and through type measurements. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you're interested in knowing more about the Field Fox network analyzer and vector voltmeter mode, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Thanks.